TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern time on Friday, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got quite a start to the positive side. Dow Jones up a full 1% right now, trading up 257 points right at 26,400. We got S&Ps up about 20 points or about 7 tenths percent, trading at 29.08. NASDAQ up 35 points or almost half a percent, trading at 79.83. As we start things off, quite a positive market, as you would expect volatility premium price pretty low spiking to 1216 the VIX at 1228 on this Friday morning let's jump over to the charts we got a lot of stories as well going on so we'll jump through these quickly Dow 30 quite an acceleration to the top side currently trading 26,395 Nasdaq 100 pretty similar a little bit of a pullback in the last hour and a half trading at 7644 S&P is trading higher 2912 Crude oil, quite a spike higher to 64.60 after pulling back a little bit yesterday, currently trading at $64.01. Gold contract trading at 12.9717 and the euro US dollar trading at 113.18. So we'll start it off earnings season, JP Morgan delivering in a big way. So we got profits rising 5% to 9.18 billion for the quarter. Revenue also rising 5%, 29.9 billion. Pretty remarkable, on $30 billion, they're making $9 billion. And to jump over to that chart, JP Morgan this morning trading higher, as you would expect, up 4.4%, quite a number. Other stories out there, Disney launching their new streaming service, Disney Plus, $6.99, not bad, $7. Uh, the worry for Netflix share owners being, are they gonna compete with them? It's probably room for both of those, but nonetheless, the market really liking what Disney is doing with that $7 number. Check that out, up 11.5%, trading at 130.90, quite a number. In the oil sector, we got quite a, quite a merger takeover, really. Chevron buying Anadarko for $33 billion, with a B, billion dollars, quite a number. But as that comes out, the news Occidental had bid more than $70 a share, higher bid for Anadarko, and is now considered options and Adarco shareholders got to like that but Chevron down on that news 5.38 percent stay tuned come back at 10 o'clock with Tom and of course we have fast market TD Ameritrade Kevin Higgs Tom White and the team at 11 Basil Chapman at noon Steve Rhodes Dave White Tom O'Brien all this afternoon stay tuned folks have a great Friday